Yo, Shalom Akim. All praise goes to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Akakwadash. Double honors goes unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me the truth. And much love and peace and blessings goes out to all you hopeful elect brothers that are teaching the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, as well as sincere listeners that are out there watching the videos of the prophets and coming back to the voice of your God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, sincerely. So. I want to do this in transit video, some thoughts on the go. Uh, through the Spirit, uh, a thought had hit my mind through the Holy Spirit earlier today about the ripple effect, right? When, when you are observing water, you may see a raindrop or uh, a rock is thrown into it. You notice that ripple among the surface that from that point of tension in the water be whatever if it's the wane drop or the rock that ripple goes throughout the pond or whatever body of water it's upon you know what I'm saying so it's the same that goes with a lot of these major events that we're seeing that's being reported on the media and really what brought this to mind was this whole situation with Kanye West like there's been a lot of press he's been getting negative press at that about him proclaiming himself to be a Jew and that the so-called JEWs, which are really frauds, him going into their mechanisms of control, how they rule, how they rule over certain things nefariously and, and with ill intent for the world, for the only for only the, their gain and to F everyone else over. Well, like I said, it's been getting a lot of press because Kanye West is that type of he's a type of polarizing figure. Like whenever he comes and does and says something to the public, there's always a a huge pullback. A lot of people always have their eyes on him for whatever reason, the people of this world, because, you know, hey, he came out with some, you know, on some worldly tip. He came out with classic al albums, influenced fashion on a whole nother level that dude is majorly accomplished in this world and he's worth a lot of money so that's nine times out of ten what the fuck these people got demons on them man and, and lo and behold it's the black woman just ringing her horn like that but anyway yeah this so this guy you know be that as it may because of his status came out and said these things which are have a degree of truth to him now that ripple effect is going out so now a lot of people that may have been sleep that may have not really been paying attention to what's going on they, they, they're understanding it from a different aspect they're understanding the truth from a different aspect a lot of dudes a lot of people who are wicked of course are hopping on the bandwagon but this is all playing into prophecy. It all plays into Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's movie, you know, because the Lord, he chooses certain avenues to allow the truth to be spread. Sometimes he'll use a celebrity, even though they're not all the way in the truth per se, they don't have 100% truth. He'll use that as an avenue or like a, um, a springboard to gather certain individuals to make them seek out what is the actual truth. So that could be the case when it comes to this whole ordeal with, with Kanye West. Is that a lot of a lot of people now is about to observe what's what's to come out of this. And some may sincerely, some of our people may sincerely repent and come back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai through this. Now, on one end, like I said, are there some people that are full of shit that may have known about being a Hebrew Israelite and they're just hopping on the bag wagon? Yeah, well, that's true. And those people, they getting marked. They getting marked for judgment. You know what I'm saying? Because the way Esau is operating, he's using this and calculate, and he's uh, monitoring the response of certain people online, whether they post something on TikTok about this like their opinion whether they're pro Kanye West or against them 
You know what I'm saying? They are Esau's monitoring this, and, and, and all of our people that's half-assing this, and they full of shit, and they just riding the bandwagon. They don't understand the gravity of what it means to be a Hebrew Israelite. The Most High gonna fuck you up because the nitty and gritty is this: is this the, the, the nitty and gritty of it all? Is this you, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites, man? And we've been telling you this for years and years and years. This message has been going out for years. And we're living in a time where it's you either accept that fact and worship your God and your power, or you're going to die. You are going to die a horrible death if you don't come back to him or suffer, you know, a cruel punishment and fate behind that, man. So this is why this this it all plays into Yahweh Bashim Rashad and his plan. He's separating the goats from the sheep or the sheep from the goats. He's seeing who is really about him and who isn't. You know, because there are still righteous souls out there that are afflicted, that are, you know, disjointed with this society, crying out, but they just haven't come into the truth. They just don't really understand what this wisdom and knowledge is all about yet. But the Lord is having that ripple effect happen onto the earth so they can find out. You know what I'm saying? And on the other end, Mark, our people that are just rejecting it. A lot of our people are calling, you know, they riding with that whole hate speech narrative. Oh, hate speech. He should have never, he should, he should have never said these hateful comments so he deserves to get blackballed our people that are saying that type of shit yeah, how about Shimei Al-Shai got a missile for them man you know what I'm saying so it's 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 when you understand how the spirit operates and you understand the prophecies how the most high is about to do this thing how he's about to get down hey you see how everything is manifested you know so this is a huge ripple effect, man. The Lord is, is calling out to his elect. And really that elect is the only thing that matters. And it's time for the elect to be tried as gold. You know? Because this is playing into the the uh, agenda of, of persecuting those that believe that they are Hebrew Israelites. That believe that the so that the people who call themselves J E W ish are fakes and phonies. There's a direct FBI <laughs> agenda that's attached to. Well, if you call yourself a Hebrew Israelite, you're a black extremist. We should lock you up. We should do this. We should do that to you. So all that is leading to a point where. What we believe and what we say, what we speak on, we're going to have to stand on that and have to be tried and have to lose things, lose our houses, lose our families, lose our comforts of this world, and even ultimately lose our lives for what we believe. You see? And that's what it's playing into, man. That's for the elect's sake. Lord is doing this for the elect's sake to, to make the elect to wake us up and then to form us into the perfect creature of faith that he wants all right so pretty much that's all I want to go into this ripple effect of what's going on all praise to you how about shaking out shy shut one